Hi and welcome to Easy Tutoring. Today we are going to cover how you can FOIL square roots. So in order to do this you will follow the basic methods of FOILing. I'll go ahead and write it out. For FOIL we want to multiply the first terms, then the outer terms, then the inner terms, and then the last terms. So in order to do this you will need to know how to add and subtract square roots and also how to multiply square roots. If you guys don't know how to do those, be sure to check out my two videos on that and then come back here. All right, so let's start with the first terms. The first term of this binomial is three. The first term of this binomial is one. We multiply three and one, which gives us three. Then the outer terms. We wanna multiply the outside terms, the three and the square root three. So we multiply these now, this is not in the square root, so we just multiply by the number out front, which is a one. Three times one gives us three. And then we just have square root of three, which has nothing else to multiply with, so we write three root three. All right, then we need to multiply the inner terms, negative root five and one, which one times anything is just the same number as itself. So this is just minus root five, all right? And then we got to multiply the last terms of each binomial. The last term of this one is negative root five. The last one of this one is root three. So we multiply these. So we multiply the numbers out front first. This is really like negative one. Negative one times one is negative one. Then we multiply whatever's inside the square roots. Five times three gives us 15 inside of a square root. All right. So. I said it was important to know how to um, add and subtract square roots because you want to see if these can be combined using like terms. Now in order to combine square roots using like terms, they need to be the same number inside. Obviously 3, 5, and 15 are all different. Now the question is can you simplify them to something smaller to get them to have the same number? And the answer to that is no because none of the perfect squares will go in 3, 5, or 15. So that's how you would know that this is as simplified as you can get. Alrighty, so that is how you can FOIL with square roots. If you guys ever want ACT or SAT help, be sure to visit my website, www.e-ztutoring.com. Thank you guys and have a good day.